Stryker's iconic speed is a 2.3mm self-punching all-suture anchor designed to eliminate the need and cost of a disposable drill and reduce surgical steps for rotator cuff repair. The rotator cuff footprint is prepared using Stryker's crossblade dual-edge cutter, being careful not to completely decorticate bone. Align the speed anchor at the articular margin through a percutaneous incision. The iconic speed features a self-punching trocar tip that is designed to eliminate the need to drill. The minimum insertion depth is indicated by the most distal portion of the solid black laser line. Subsequent laser lines are provided for reference. After aligning the speed inserter perpendicular to the bone, mallet the speed inserter handle to the appropriate insertion depth. Orienting the tips medial to lateral is best practice to protect the inserter tips during malleting in the instance of minor off-axis insertion. Release the sutures from all three suture cleats and pull back on the speed inserter handle to remove. To set the anchor, slowly pull all suture limbs simultaneously. Stryker's Iconics All Suture Platform features IntelliBraid technology. Upon deployment, the implant sheath creates a bunching effect using targeted compression zones within the implant sheath for optimal fixation. Repeat with a second iconic speed. Prepare the lateral tuberosity with Stryker's 90S Cruise. Through the lateral portal, retrieve and load one strand of the 2.0mm X-Braid TT from the medial anchor into the Cobra reusable suture passer. Cobra is the first ever reusable suture passer with a rigid stainless steel needle. It is available in a self-capture model or a hook and ratchet model. Cobra suture passer is designed to eliminate a disposable needle, prevent needle migration, and avoid needle breakage. Pass the suture through the tendon and retrieve it through the anterior portal. Repeat with the 1.2mm X-Braid TT. And continue passing the six remaining tails through the tendon. Using a loop retriever, bring both strands of the 1.2mm X-Braid TT through the lateral portal. Tie them down to achieve additional medial fixation and cut with the Big Dog Suture Cutter. Repeat for the posterior anchor. Stryker's Omega Knotless Anchor System features an all-peak self-punching eyelet with screw and fixation. Due to the proprietary eyelet design and the decoupled eyelet and screw, Omega is designed to offer unobstructed cannulation and secure fixation. The Omega Anchor is available in 3.9, 4.75, and 6.5mm sizes. The 3.9mm and 4.75mm screws feature a double helix designed to maximize cortical screw interference. The 6.5mm screw is a single helix to offer improved fixation in instances of poor bone quality. Retrieve the two tails of the X-Braid TT into the eyelet using the pull tab. Note, up to eight tails of number two force fiber can be loaded through the eyelet depending on your suture configuration. The eyelet inserter is self-punching. However, if the surgeon determines a pilot hole is needed, reusable instrumentation is available. Mallet the proximal end of the eyelet inserter until the distal end of the laser line is flush with the bone. Place the tapered tip of the screw over the pilot hole, which can be easily located by following your suture to the aperture of the hole. While maintaining slight downward pressure on the screwdriver handle, pull tension on the suture limbs one at a time, and if desired, place them into the cleat to help with suture management. Depending on the density or quality of the bone, while pulling tension, you may feel the eyelet reposition under the cortical layer of the bone. The eyelet has a proprietary design to adjust positioning during suture tensioning based on the bone density. In soft bone, the eyelet will move proximally to find secure positioning as it engages with bone. This design feature may allow for the eyelet to securely fixate in the bone. Once the suture is appropriately tensioned, hold the black handle of the screwdriver and simultaneously turn the translucent proximal knob in the clockwise direction while maintaining downward pressure. Do not mallet the screwdriver to position the screw. Advance the screw until it is flush with the bone. 
Once the screw is flush, the surgeon can finish the repair with additional Omega anchors.